And then uh, this next team is who I feel is going to finish dead last in this division this year. Uh, that is the Seattle Seahawks, man. The Seattle Seahawks finished nine and eight last year, missed the postseason. They have a new era for the first time in a decade. They've got a new head coach as Mike McDonald. He was a defensive coordinator for the, for the Baltimore Ravens the last 10 years. He takes over for Pete Carroll, who amicably split with the team, which is a respectful way of, nigga, get your old ass fuck up out of here. Uh, so they also, this is, this is kind of a make or break year for Geno. Geno's had a, a pretty good two years, probably the best two years of his career the last two years, but this is, you know, something that was conversations of maybe they were going to enter the Justin Field trade talks to try to replace him. Uh, they went out there and they got uh, Sam Howell, who was in Washington last year um, as his backup. Um, I think this is something where either Geno is going to be really, really good and 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 continue to put up the big numbers that he really put up two seasons ago to submit himself as a long term quarterback, even though he is a little long with tooth. The nigga's not young, uh, or they decide to, you know, Geno, we appreciate everything you did for us, and just and you know, just we're, we're going to move on. Uh, they still got uh, DK Metcalf there. Obviously, he's going to go out there do things he's going to do, but I'm not expecting nothing from this team whatsoever. I think they will finish dead last in this division. I think Mike McDonald will have a rough start. Uh, to his head coaching career. Um, Bang, do you agree with what I'm saying about the Seahawks? You got a, a different take, or a little more positive take on the Seahawks or not? A much more positive take. I have a much more positive take. I think this is one of my uh, surprise teams in the NFC. Um, I think this team is going to be better than advertised because defensively this team is going to be great. Um, I think that they have all of the makers for that, even though one of their defensive tackles is reportedly a freak man. Um, I think that they're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I think the this team. Hashtag, hashtag balls too. Yes. So I <laughs> <laughs> Such a wild thing, bro. That was a wild story. <laughs> hey, but you know, but hey, but you know, on a different note, pause. I felt them, bro. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, you gotta mind them. You know, they're not down there for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just so happens, yeah, just so happens to be that the person that I guess he was talking to had balls too. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, I couldn't. Hey, hey, that was good comedic time, right? But no, I think this team is going to be better than advertised. Um, and and since this to me is one of the weaker divisions in the NFL, I think that the competition is going to be there for second place. And I think this is the team is that that is going to be in second place. Uh, go ahead, uh, Dante. Uh, I got I got nothing for the Seahawks. I don't think I think they're going to take a step back. I think you know. First year, new offense is going to definitely be different. Um, Gino has to learn another offense. So just seeing, you know, how the new offensive coordinator can utilize those weapons and uh, make Gino, you know, make Gino comfortable and have him, you know, at his best. But, you know, with that being said, I think they take a step back. This is a team that I'll probably predict to finish last in the division this year. Mikey, go ahead. Close out with the Seahawks. I mean, I think that they have a really good team. I mean, they have skill position players um you know you got kenneth walker you got zach charbonnet you have a, a lockdown running back room you obviously got dk metcalf tyler lockett jackson smith and jigba um and you know they got they got players on defense and and, and witherspoon so i just want to see what their offense is like i really you know i can't call it because you have a defensive minded head coach that's coming in he's a rookie first time head coach so you know they like to play games a little bit closer we saw that in chicago with flus um, you know, a little bit more conservative on the play calling. I agree. This is going to be another system that Gino um, has to learn. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't know where to put them. I think that they're about a 500 team or maybe a nine win team. They could be sneaky with good health. Um, and, you know, if the defense adapts to their coach's personality. Uh, so I, I really don't know. Like I'm, I'm really kind of, tossing and turning if I want to throw them in second place or fourth place, but I'm going to throw them in second place just because I think they have more than enough um, offensively to be able to stay in games, at least with the running game. And, you know, defensive head coach, if he can bring a personality that those players adapt to, then they should be fine. And they have, um, they have a favorable first two games. They got the Broncos and the Patriots. But then you got a tough one, Dolphins, Lions. You know, it's all about how you finish when I look at these schedules. And they finished uh, the month of December with New York Jets, Arizona Cardinals, Green Bay Vikings, Bears, Rams. It's pretty tough. Like I said, that could be another, you know, potential wild card implication game, you know, with, with the Seahawks down the road. 
Indeed, man. Let's wrap this division up with the team that finished dead last in the NFC West last year. That was the Arizona Cardinals. They went 4-13 after, you know, Kyler Murray uh, didn't really come back from injury, sat down, uh, missed the playoffs. Uh, they drafted um, Marvin Harris Jr. at number four. You'll be joining up with the presumed healthy uh you know, Kyler, Kyler Murray, man. I'm 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 buying high on the Cardinals, man. I'm buying high on the Cardinals. I, I think I'm one of the few who still think that Kyler Man Man Murray still has a little bit of game in him. Uh and I think he's probably underrated in that aspect. And I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is is a freak of nature. Yeah, Marvin Harrison, there's not much more to be said about that. I think this offense can uh really put up some points. Um, I think they've got a good running back room, and I think the defense will be enough to really make uh, stops. I'm going as high on them. I think they'll finish second in the division. The fuck? Yes, I'm I'm selling high. I'm selling high on the <laughs> Arizona Cardinals uh, at Orlando. You, we will be an Arizona super team in that division. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs. I got them in that nine and eight round. You know what I'm saying? Eight, nine round. But I think they'll be much better than what they've done before. And I believe in that team more than the other teams. And that is it a high take? Yes, but I'm standing on that high take. We'll see later on this season if I'm a dumbass or not when it comes to this. But I'm buying whole high on the Kyler Murray, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. tandem. Uh, bang, I know you disagree with me on that. What you feel about the Cardinals? Hell yeah, that ain't enough. Like, that ain't enough. I, I, huh? Like, I mean, I know James Conner is there. You know, but he, he he's oft injured. They got Paris Johnson um, that's going to move over. I think he's moving over the left tackle. But that defensive line, that offensive line needs hella work. Um, um, outside of um, outside of that, the defense, like they didn't, that's this, outside of Marvin Harrison, this is a team where I can't see how, where they improved. I can't, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I don't see it. I mean, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a big improvement. No, I'm t- I, that's why I said outside of Marvin Harrison Jr., I can't see, especially on the defensive side, where they improved. I think this team is going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. Mm, I think okay. this team, I, matter of fact, if you, want, if you want to give a hot take, I give you a hot take. Go ahead. These, these are one of the teams that's going to be poor for Shador. <laughs> Or or trying to cut some checks for Beck, like cut this, some checks for Beck. I was wondering what the Carson Beck like, was going. I be. think this is Kyler Murray's last season with the Arizona Cardinals, Jack. I think this team goes into full rebuild mode, and they're already in rebuild mode after this. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Go ahead, Dante. What are you? Are you on my side or you a bang? I'm on your side. Um, I actually think when you look uh, at the Cardinals last year, they lost a lot of games that they could have won. Uh, it was a lot of games where you could look like they were tanking for Caleb, where they would be up or they would be playing well for three quarters and then completely shit the bed in the fourth quarter. I think you get a lot less of that this season. Um, I do think the Kyler Marvin uh, connection will be extremely good. You know, we forget how good Kyler was when he had, you know, DeAndre Hopkins. I know things in uh, in the way they wanted him to, but uh, they were able to put some numbers up before, you know, the injuries happened. So I think with a full year healthy Kyler and Marvin Harrison Jr. And like I said, last year, there were a lot of games that they were in for three, three and a half quarters, and then they just blew it. So I think this is a team that uh, will compete. I think, I, like, I agree. I got him in second, and they could be a sleeper. But um, right now, I have them finishing second in it. Uh, like I said, second second in this division. Mikey, call this out. I think they'll be a fun offense to watch. Obviously, you know, with, with Trey McBride at tight end, he was a weapon that, you know, when Kyler kind of came back last year, he kind of leaned on him. You still got James Conner. You got Marvin Harrison Jr. I know they drafted Paris Johnson at their tackle, so another year of that, that was, you know, they drafted him last year. Um but Vegas isn't high on them, Scott. So, you know, I know you're not gambling, but, man, fuck it. If you're as high on them as you think you are, Vegas has their win total set at six and a half. Okay. They're not really, you know, getting the love um, that you're yeah, showing them. Eight. It's not the far from eight. I had eight, 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 eight nine. It's not eight the far from eight. Well, I mean, I'm, all you need is seven. All you need yeah. is seven. Um, but, yeah, I just don't I just don't see it with them. You know, Kyler Murray, since he came in the league, you know, he was durable at first. Rookie year, 16 games played. Sophomore year, 16 games played. Third year, 14, 11, and 8, you know. So now we're starting to see a little bit of an injury concern pile up um, in the last two seasons. So let's just see how he can 
uh, rebound, um, see if he can be able to stay on the field. I think if he stays on the field, he'll be able to put up some crazy numbers with Marvin. Um, but I got them finishing last in the division. Um, they did play hard last year uh, when, you know, that whole Josh Dobbs era. They really did play hard. Uh, and I like that from a first year coach with Jonathan Gannon, but I still don't think they have enough yet to at least what? keep up with with the Seahawks, with the with the Niners and with the Rams. Like they're they're not on that level yet. So I got them finishing four. Schedule? Y'all see that schedule uh, they got? Nah, I nah. Uh, but see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hold the schedule as heavy because you never know who's gonna be good or not. Boy, man. they yeah. start off with Buffalo. They go against the Rams. Hey, and then hey, hey man, to... Buffalo's a winnable game this year. Boy, at Buffalo, at Buffalo, they're at on Buffalo the road at Buffalo. Good. Then they go against the Rams. Then they go against the fuck them niggas Lions. Then they go against the Commanders. Then they go against San Francisco. Then they go up against Green I'm, Bay. I'm mad you said Commanders. Like those are two. Like, those are that no, no, I, game, bro. Why did why no, that's but, a winnable game? You look at how they start off the season. They're more than likely starting off the season on three. They got they got a six game stretch bang. Now that I look at it, and <laughs> I know the schedule it. But look, they got at San Francisco, at Man. Green Bay, Chargers, winnable game. But Chargers Monday Night Football at Miami. Bears, Jets. That's a tough. That's a tough six game stretch right there. If the teams, you know, that we think they are, all it takes is one injury, though. All it takes is one Josh Allen injury, and Buffalo's a winnable game. But they do have a they do have a tough schedule, and they don't have Whoa. the most talent. Boy, that's supposed to be a last place schedule. Shit, oh, if that's shit. a last place schedule, I don't want it. <laughs> like our last place schedule, I'm it's thankful for. Yeah. This last place schedule. They basically was like, y'all niggas going to suck again. Like, uh, they, this team, that's that's why when you when you put this on the docket, I was like, let me go look at these niggas' schedule. Because at first, I was like, y'all, like, okay, I know I'll be shitting on the Cardinals. Maybe. Now, the back half of the year, you got some hope. Because they got, they got, they got the Fikers. That's good. They got they got um, Minnesota, which I think Minnesota, as much as I don't like these niggas, I think defensively, I said I think defensively they're going to be straight. No points, bro. Like defensively, but I think defensively they're going to be good. Like the Vikings defensively is going to be straight. They got the Patriots. That's a win. They got Carolina. That's a win. But then you end the season in L.A. and then you end the, and you end the season against the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, they, they, they not getting past that six and a half. It's gonna be interesting. Seven is tough. I think they'll be a fun team offensively, and we'll see in a couple in, in, in a couple months, if I'm right or not. Um, but that concludes inside the NFC West. Next week we'll start on the AFC, and we'll start on the team that's probably has on the division that's probably the toughest in football, and will be the subject of hard knocks in season. That is AFC North. Uh, we'll be checking it out next week. And then paper on his player haters old news money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. On the other line, so I'm not gonna